uh, this is Vicky, this is the game ball. <laughs> and, uh, just a mummified head. And it's kind of based off the um, old premise of some of the ancient uh, Mexico and you know South American cultures playing basketball with severed heads of their enemies and stuff like that. But we have, uh, at the gym, we're going to be playing basically a form of basketball where everyone's going to have um, a single short sword. And it can be multiple teams. It's going to be like two teams, and we don't as many people as we can get playing, we'll have them play. They each start out at two ends of the gym, and when lay on is called, basically start. Everyone makes a dash for the middle where this is going to be, and the goal is to get your teams, uh, get Vicky here into the other team's goal. So uh, we actually do have videos of, the, of this being played on the Facebook group and um, on the YouTube channel too, I believe. So let me see if I understand. That's gonna be out there in the middle of the floor and do you have weapons? Are you fighting? Yeah, to everyone's get... gonna be fighting with the short sword. Okay. So, and it's basically, um, if you die in the game, you, where you died, you just count till 10 seconds. And if you're holding this, you drop it. And it's basically just pick it up and try and get it, you know, into the net. Which is kind of funny considering some of these people have never played basketball. So, <laughs> so you're battles, actually- Some of the battles around the goal are kind of, you're actually going to throw it into a net like a basketball. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, and it's see it here. It's actually decent. A little too close. Oh, I was going to hand yeah. it off to you so you can oh. feel the weight of it. There you go. See, it's Oh, just... yeah. Don't weigh nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it'll be one of those things. Is so. that an actual? <laughs> I don't want the dirty head. <laughs> it's yeah. one of those uh, styrofoam um, mannequin heads that you can get over at Hobby oh. Lobby. Oh, yeah. That I just put in a thing of duct tape. And is it open to the general public? So the event is open to the general public, yes, I believe it is. Um, it's a $10 um, feast fee for the event because it's going to be indoors and, you know, Midland, Texas weather, you never know it's going to be like this or snowing the day before or the day after. So um, it's going to be a $10 feast fee if you want to eat and um, they're going to be making um, turkey and ham and bread, cheese, tea, stuff like that. Um, it'll be ten dollars and if you're able to bring a meal like some sort of cooked dish that can feed four people because it's the whole uh, premise of the feast is to have a uh, kind of a potluck with your amp guard family that's the theme of it and whoever brings the meal that can bring that can feed four people the fee is waived so they get it for free or they get to eat for free so well that's pretty cool yeah um we're expecting anywhere what would you say ran about 50 60 people see so yeah, that's about realistic in this time of year, we get a lot more during the spring and summer, specifically the fall. The fall is when our numbers swell yeah. the, the most because it's not too hot, not too cold. Well, but, maybe this will help out a little bit too. Yo, every little bit helps, definitely. We appreciate it very, oh. very much. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. How would you like to, to get an interview from one of our, our women? I would, yeah. Go ahead, Landon. Good. Here, let me let me get ready again here. It'll only take me a second. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't know you saw how Oh, it. yeah, I did. Let me straighten up my back. So you'd like to talk to us? I'd love to. Let's go right about here so we can see them guys, too. Remember, it's just your perspective on not being a fighter, but being another, a lady that comes out here as well. Being a color. You don't have to fight to participate in it. Can you stand with me? Yeah, sure. Awesome. It'll take me just a second to get back up again no, here. No, that's fine. It'll take me some time to, you know. They, we are live, so be careful. <laughs> All righty. Who are we talking to? Hi. I'm uh, Anaya Rand. Um, I'm the current prime minister, which means I take care of uh, the records and the treasury. But um, from a woman's perspective, um, you don't always have to fight. Can, can you back up just a little bit? There, there you go. I want you in the shot, but you were casting a shadow on her. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Like, well, um, you don't always have to fight. We do have a couple of women fighters, um, but for the most part, you can also do um, artisan things. Like uh, this cloak here, it's handmade. It was not hand made by me, but uh, really nicely done. And it, it, it helps provide the feel of the era and the time. 
so you don't have to be a fighter. You can come out here and just socialize with people. They're, they're all great people. Um, a lot of fun and make things, draw, sing. We recently just had our Dragon Master in which everyone brings everything that they make and kind of, uh, I guess you would say in a way, compete with each other. <laughs> so I guess that, that's just another aspect to it aside from the fighting for people who don't want to do that. Okay, so there's, there's, there's room for people in this organization that don't necessarily want to get out there and beat on each other. Yes, absolutely. That's a good thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you say it also helps for people who have, you know, who, who've had surgery and, and can't fight and stuff like that? Yes. Um, good point. It is. Um, if you're unable to fight, that doesn't mean you can't still participate in Amgard. There are so many different options. Um, even taking up a position on the field, you know, being champion, being uh, duke, like our monarch here, or prime minister, or a uh, regent. If you're not a fighter or you can't fight, you can still participate actively. And we love having people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else can you tell us? Well, there are, would you say there's, there's also groups off of the field that they meet during certain parts of the week? We do currently have our Ampgard College Club that meets every Wednesday, I think it's 7 o'clock. Um, I'm not entirely sure the building that we're meeting at anymore. I think we're in the Senate room, or sometimes we do movies and we'll meet at different buildings. Um, I'm not really the person to talk to about it. I'm not the president, but uh, it provides you a place to learn how to make things. If you want to make a weapon, this is the place to do it. If you want to make garb like this, that's also the place to do it. If you just want to chat, hang out, and have a good time, watch movies, it is the perfect place. Uh, so you don't always have to come out here on Saturdays to be an active participant either. Um, uh, did we talk about age? No, we haven't. Uh, technically by the rules you have to be 14 or up to play. If you are 14, 13, 13, 13 I'm sorry, 13, um, you have to have parent parental permission in order to fight actively and sign a waiver. This real simple waiver saying that you know, can't sue us if you get hurt. <laughs> That's why you need the parental signature on it. 